Assalamu alaikum in today's video we are looking at another game of Mikhail Tal which he played against Hulk Gang in this game Mikhail Tal was playing as a white so he started the game with the e4 now e6 French defense d4 d5 knight to d2 c5 attacks the center knight to f3 defend the center and knight to c6 again attacks the center bishop to g5 pinning the knight and releasing the pressure on the d4 square the best option for the black in this position was a6 but he missed it and he played d captures on e4 now knight captures on e4 bishop to d7 after bishop to d7 it looks like that mikhail tal can win a pawn with the d captures on c5 but that's not possible because black can play queen to a5 check and now black is forced to play knight to c3 guarding his bishop and now black can play bishop captures on c5 black wins his pawn back but with the tempo that's the reason why mikhail tal didn't play d captures on c5 instead he play bishop to g5 developing his piece but with the tempo it looks like that bishop to e7 is a good answer to this move but that's a blunder because now mikhail tal can play knight to d6 check and now there's only two options for the black the first one is bishop captures on d6 but that's not possible because this bishop is pinned to the queen and mikhail tal will win a free queen that's why the only option for the black in this position is king to f8 and now this king cannot castle on any side of the board that's the reason why black didn't play bishop to e7 in this position instead he played queen to a5 check attacking the king and the bishop at the same time white is forced to play knight to c3 also guarding his bishop and now c captures on d4 knight captures on d4 and black played bishop to b4 black plan is simple uh, if mikhail tal plays some random move then bishop captures on c3 and after b captures on c3 queen captures on c3 and black will win win upon in this position that's why black was thinking that mikhail tal would play something like queen to d2 or queen to d3 but that's not Mikhail Tal style. He played short castle, giving away his pawn. Black accepted uh, bishop captures on c3, b captures on c3, and after queen captures on c3, there is a question why did Mikhail Tal sacrifice his pawn? He sacrificed it for the better move, which is knight to f5, a brilliant knight sacrifice. The reason is simple if you capture this knight, then after rook to e1, it's very hard for the black king to castle on any side of the board. So let's say you don't capture it and instead you play king to f8 uh, but now mikhail tal can play queen to d6 check uh, now knight to e7 bishop captures on e7 check king to g8 and after queen captures on d7 this position is easily winning for mikhail tal because of huge material advantage that's why king to f8 is not an option another thing black can do is knight to f6 but now after knight captures on g7 check if black play king to f8 but after bishop to h6 mikhail tal has some dangerous discover checks and if you play king to d8 or king to e7 then after knight to h5 mikhail tal has a chance to win a piece on the f6 square that's why knight to f6 was also not an option the another thing black can do is queen to c5 uh, but now knight to d6 check king to f8 knight captures on f7 this is not the sacrifice because after king captures on f7 mikhail tal can play queen captures on d7 check and again this position is winning for mikhail tal because of his ongoing attack and his opponent weak king maybe that's the reason why black didn't play any of this move instead he play e captures on f5 but now rook to e1 check uh, bishop to e6 now queen to d6 this is a critical position of the game so let's look at some possibilities from the black if black in this position play a uh, knight to e7 then queen captures on e7 is a checkmate so let's say you play a uh, knight to f6 but now rook a to d1 stopping this rook to d8 a6 and now rook captures on e6 a brilliant exchange sacrifice black has no option so f captures on e6 uh, but now queen captures on e6 check uh, king to f8 and now bishop to c4 mikhail tal is threatening the checkmate with the queen to f7 so let's say you play a uh, knight to d8 but again mikhail tal can play rook captures on d8 check and after rook captures on d8 queen to f7 is a checkmate so knight to d8 does not work in this position if black wants to save this game uh, he should 
should play knight to e5 white can play queen to d6 check uh, king to e8 now bishop captures on f6 white is threatening the checkmate with the queen to e7 so g captures on f6 force uh, now queen to e6 check uh, king to f8 and after queen captures on f6 check uh, white can easily win this rook with the check that's why in this position this knight is trapped black in this position played a6 uh, but now another great move bishop to d2 and why it's a great move because if black move his queen out of the c file uh, then mikhail tal can play bishop captures on c6 check b captures and after queen captures mikhail tal can win a rook that's why in this position queen captures on c2 force and again mikhail tal played a brilliant bishop to b4 a brilliant bishop sacrifice on a b5 square black again accepted with the a captures on b5 uh, but now queen to f8 check king to d7 rook e to d1 check king to c7 and after queen captures on a8 black resigned in this position the reason is simple if you play a uh, knight captures on b4 then queen to d8 check uh, king to c6 and now queen to d6 is a checkmate so let's say in this position you don't capture this bishop instead you play queen to a4 offering the queen exchange but now mikhail tal can play bishop to d6 check now king to b6 queen to f8 and now there is no way for the black to stop this queen captures on g7 and then queen captures on h8 and that's the reason why black resigned in this game so i hope you like this brilliant game of mikhail tal and if you like it please like this video subscribe to this channel to get more amazing and inspiring content